All right, so October TBR time, spooky season. It's becoming fall, hence my cardigan that I made in 2020. It's on, I'm ready to be cozy all the time. <laughs> and so I have, I think, 10 things here because that feels like a good mixture of obligations and things that have been on my radar that I want to prioritize, but then also mood reading can happen, which excites me because I've been averaging 12 to 15-ish books or things a month. And I think that's going to keep going at that pace, but also I can for sure read 10 things. So if I only read these 10 things, that's fine. There's a mix of genres and everything. So we'll start like I always do with my obligations and then we'll go into some series I want to start and continue. And then I did do three bookopoly rolls because I just kind of wanted to randomly select things from my TBR because that seems like a fun thing to do. All right. Uh, so starting off with obligations for the patron book club buddy read situation where I make a spoiler vlog and we chat about it each month. We are reading The Hacienda which I'm very excited about. I also think this book is being read by the Blades and Bodice Rippers book club. So I'm excited to be able to read it and then maybe, you know, listen to that live show discussion. This is, I believe, a gothic horror creepy house story. I think it's set in Mexico, post the Mexican Civil War. And this woman, I think it's because she's married this man, but I'm not positive about the exact motivation, ends up at this this ranch, the Hacienda, and things are creepy. And she works with this priest, I think, to figure things out. And the chemistry and the interpersonal relationship between the priest and this main character has me intrigued. I've heard very good things. I'm very excited about this book. I hope I love it because I actually just want to own this book very badly. Truly, this cover is so pretty. <laughs> Another book club reads, this is for my local book club, we are reading Tender is the Flesh. I did warn them that this is graphic, that people don't always like reading this book, but also don't regret reading this book. It's a translation by an Argentinian author, and this is about a world where we can no longer eat meat from animals. There's like an allergic reaction or it's poisoned. I don't know. We can't do that. So we grow and harvest humans, <laughs> I believe. There's something involved with that. It's going to be a weird time. It's probably going to be a gross time. I'm very excited. I've been wanting to read this for a while. And it seems like, you know, this is like the perfect time of year to do that. Another obligation read that I have, this is for um, just my patrons pick books for me to read off my TBR. And most months are not that helpful. They are almost always ties across the board. And I do a TBR game for that to like make the poll. And if I roll doubles on that, then I have to pick the top two. And then there was a tie for second place. So I'm just, I put all three on this TBR at different points. <laughs> but the one that won was Lobazona, which is a young adult first book in a duology that I've been meaning to read for years. I just got it used from my bookstore, so I'm really excited to read it. This is about an undocumented American, and her mother, I think, is just taken away from by ICE. But also at the same time, she realizes she kind of has, um, she's a part of this underground kind of secret magical community probably has to do with shape-shifting and a lot of that sounds really interesting I've heard only good things I want to read it and then the last obligation that I have is we're continuing the alloy of law or the misborn era to read along with bands of a morning this is I think my favorite I mean I love shadows of self so much more than I anticipated on reread but I think this is still gonna hold up gonna be my favorite my girl Steris is here I love her and she doesn't get a lot of page time in the first two books but she does here and i'm very excited <laughs> so um i'll leave any links to live shows and sprints we've done in the past down below but this is going to be happening i believe october 24th the exact day will be down below where we're going to have the live show discussion for this i'm extremely pumped like extremely i love miss born era too i just think it's fun i think it knows exactly what it is and what that is is my type of camp <laughs> Like, that's just, like, what I want sometimes, and it's been so fun. And I think those are all of the obligation reads. Now, getting into series that I want to start slash continue because I felt like I needed to, like, say things. <laughs> um, I want to finish the Sentinels trilogy. So I'm currently reading Null States as I'm filming this video, but the third book is State Tectonics. Um, and so I would love to read that, and that'll be a sci-fi trilogy that I have finished this year. And yeah, I just want to see where it goes. It, her books don't always work for me. The starts are particularly rough, but I love the ideas and how she sets up the conflicts that we need to resolve and the mysteries we need to solve. And it's, it's fun. It's a fun time. Not perfect, but I'm enjoying it, and I want to finish the trilogy 
before it like leaves my mind and it's also perfect for like the eve of election season because it's about micro democracies and elections and things like that so i want to finish that and i'm going to continue tawny man the golden fool is my big book that's the big book that's on this tbr that's the one that i'm going to try and read in October because it's been a minute since I've read Fool's Errand and it also was one of the books that was tied for second place in the patron TBR poll so figured I guess it's that and not Wall of Storm <laughs> so I'm going to read that and then I want to start the I don't know what the series is called but Chilling Effect is the first book this is a sci-fi story I think it has psychic cats there's found family there's needing to save a sister I think it pulls from a lot of fun sci-fi rompy media and I want to read it it looks fun and it was finished this year so I, I mean if I like it ideally I could finish the trilogy that would be a lovely time so those are all the series and then I will show you my first roll over here for bookopoly and as you can see here it landed on TBR vet and so that means I am going to be reading unraveling by Karen Lord which I have had for quite a while and it also was tied for second place on my patrons pool so it was an easy way of getting it on the list but i've truly had this ooh, a year and a half now a while and part of it is it's the last karen lord novel i have to read and then i don't have any more novels but i can always just reread things and i still have some short stories that i haven't read but yeah i don't know what this is about I pretty much just love her writing style and I just kind of go into her books. Um, I know it's the same world as Redemption and Indigo, I believe, but it's not like the same characters or anything. And I don't even know what it means by it being the same world. I just know in Redemption and Indigo, we had Jumbi and we had spirits and gods and stuff like that. Lords of Chaos and such. So probably more magical. I know it's confusing. It was literally recommended to me because I liked, um, mm, this is how you lose the time war. Because when Njiri read that, she was like, well, if you really like just going with the flow and letting things happen, you should try Unraveling by Karen Lord. But then was like, but Redemption and Indigo is technically same world before that. So I read that first. So I want to read this. I love the maze on the cover. It just, it speaks to me. I think it's really pretty. It does remind me a little bit of Westworld, <laughs> which isn't a bad thing for my brain. I don't think this is sci-fi or going to be like Westworld, but it reminds me of that. And then the next role landed on a book published before 1999 and this is going to be very thematic for the season i didn't quite get to this in september but i figured it's not too bad that i don't get to it till now because it's thematically relevant and that is batman the long halloween long halloween october and it is published i think like 1997 or something like that so and it's probably like on my physical TBR, which is what I was using these rolls for. One of the few that count. There's probably a Louise Erdrich that I own that could have maybe counted. But this one says Halloween. And I'm trying to read more graphic novels. I'm trying to like prioritize them more because they are fun. And I, I just, I like superhero things. So I should put more of that into my life. And so then the last roll landed on the community shelf tab and I drew that and it said magazine which is another thing I've been trying to get into more and I decided that I'm going to read the Faya magazine this month and it comes out October 1st and you can everyone can then buy it I think it's like four dollars or something like that so I'll I'll definitely buy that and I think it's going to be a more like spooky themed edition I'm not sure but this cover is really cool <laughs> Speculative magazines have the best cover art. Like truly, I don't actually know of one that I don't enjoy looking at. Like they're all so interesting. And so yeah, I'm trying to read more novelettes and short stories for the Hugo so I can nominate some hopefully good favorite works. And I've read Uncanny and I've read Clark's World and I've read Ata. And so I wanted to read Faya because that's been a magazine that's been on my list. So I'm just trying to like dabble in magazines and get myself more used to reading them. And, yeah, and stuff like that. I don't know. Just, just exercising that part of like the speculative space that I don't normally dip my toes into working on that so that is the low-key 10 books that I think I'm going to try and get to and then there's a whole bunch of other stuff like in the horror space I have like a bunch of Latina horror that I might try and get to like some are novellas some are novels I'm really intrigued by a list that I've just like kind of curated for myself so that could happen. There's also, of course, T. King Fisher, either What Moves the Dead, which is like the novella that came out. I might read that near Halloween if I have time because it's just a novella. I don't know. It seems interesting. But then also I want to start the Clockworks Boy series and maybe I'll be feeling that. And I know that that has some like romantic elements in the fantasy weird, I, is diesel punk, steampunk? I don't know. It's an interesting fantasy world. I know that. So that might happen. But 
it's just going to depend on my mood. Similarly with some other sci-fi books that I have, I know that I'm going to get the audiobook that comes in for a short story anthology I have, but even if I get that, I'm not going to finish that anthology this month. It's Terraform. It's a huge anthology. So that's like, even if I started in October, I'm not finishing it in October. <laughs> but at least I still do have short stories and short works that I'll be reading because of Faya. But that's this video. What are your plans? What are you in the mood for for October? Are you just going full like fall vibes, fairy tale retellings, fantasy? Are you going kind of horror? Are you going somewhere in the middle? What, what are you gravitating towards this month? If you want to leave an emoji, leave a pumpkin emoji because I'm basic. I do love pumpkins. Although apples do not get enough credit. Apples are great. Apple cider is phenomenal. Apple cider is better than pumpkin spice. I don't think that's a hot take. Maybe it is, but like pumpkin spice you can have all year round. It's just nutmeg. Like I don't understand. It's, it's really not that special. Apple cider though. Fresh apple cider at an apple farm in fall. Very few things top that. So maybe an apple if you agree with me and a pumpkin if you disagree with me. That's going to be our emoji for this video. And like if you liked it, subscribe if you want to, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.